Now, okay, so I just wanted to quickly talk about um, feeling fed up with doing spiritual work. And uh, also, um, uh, yeah, so whenever you do, whenever you do spiritual work, um, just, you just expect that you, you have one tranche of work, that you get a little break and then you get another tranche of work. And that's, uh, usually people who come to groups like this have a lot of spiritual work and a lot of, uh, you can have a lot of illnesses. And you're just sort of clearing, clearing the karma. You're clearing one tranche of karma after other. So, um, like Hawkins always said, like if you look at the saints, they're often ill. Uh, when you looked at, um, so, uh, so Buddha said that he felt like his bones were breaking mm. when he was doing his spiritual work. Um, and uh, Hawkins had about 23 illnesses. Uh, you know, uh, you know so uh, Christ was tempted by Lucifer. So when you're doing this spiritual work, it's like even if you're very advanced, you have one, you can have one illness after the next and um, with little gaps and it's because you're clearing, you know, you, you're wanting to get rid of everything that blocks you off from God. So mm-hmm. often with illness, illnesses is, can be a very, very common manifestation of, of uh, someone doing advanced spiritual work. You might get coughs, colds, or you might get all kinds of uh, disputes at work, or all kinds of problems. Um, and this is because you're paying off lots of karma, mm-hmm. bit by bit, until you can become free. So it's uh, it's it's just to know it's like it's normal and it's a good. It's not a bad sign. So it's, you know you can just think like. Uh, Hawkins sort of said, like, a, an advanced spiritual student can be clearing 15 lifetimes of karma in one lifetime. Mm. So when you're, like, people who are not doing active spiritual work seem to have quite a steady, steady life, but when people who are doing active spiritual work, you know, can go through a lot of difficulties mm. uh, and a lot of problems. So just to know that, that that's... Uh, um, while you're going through these illnesses or aches and pains, you're actually clearing stuff off. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's, uh, it's not to feel, and it doesn't mean that you're, le- as long as you're dedicated to spiritual work, it doesn't mean, it doesn't affect your spiritual level of consciousness. Mm-hmm. <coughs> because you're still devoted to surrendering. Yeah. It just means you're in the process of clearing some stuff, clearing some stuff uh, out. So since, um, since doing that, you know, it just gives a positive light. And if you're having a life where, like, one thing after another is happening, you can, you can just sort of see it like you're clearing, thank you, clearing a lot of heavy stuff. Mm. And uh, it means, uh, and that's what, I mean, uh, Buddha, I mean, Hawkins um, said about uh, Buddha, Buddha was right, you know, it's a great opportunity to be born a human, because here we get to, it's one of the optimal places for letting go of huge amounts of karma very quickly, yes. because in this, in this place you've got people, you know, who are, uh, you have the lowest levels of consciousness in this planet to the highest levels of consciousness. So you can go and meet, an, you can go out on the street and meet an axe murderer and a saint on the same street, you see. So that gives you like lots of opportunities for forgiveness for paying off karma, everything is in this world. It's like the universe can help you to let go of all your karma in this planet because you can meet so many different, right? Like if you were in heaven, like everyone's nice all the time. Yeah. So I mean, how can, like if you've got to like <laughs> learn forgiveness, you can't learn forgiveness in heaven. Mm-mm. You know, you have to be sent here to learn forgiveness. You can't like, you can't get over the fear of death in heaven. You know, it's like you're just, they're just singing all the time and, and, chan- and hymns and everyone's, telling, everyone's being nice to each other all the time. So you can't pay off your karma and learn. It's a school, you see. You can go from being, you can go from being um, a, a criminal to a saint. 
You know, in 12-step programs, you can get people who are, go from criminal to saint in about a year. Mm. You know, you know, mm. one minute they're mm. like, uh, you know, they're a career criminal, and they're mm. they're, rob they're robbing banks, mm. and uh, all the time. And then they go through a 12-step program, and then all they're doing is helping other drug add drug addicts, and they spend the rest of their life just helping others to become clean and give their lives to God. Mm -hmm. So they go from like. So where you, c you can only do this in this planet, you can't go to heaven to learn to do that. Mm -hmm. And if you went into, you, you, and if you were in hell, like everyone's horrible all the time. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and no one, you know, so you're not going to like, there's not going to be even like a saint to teach you forgiveness. You know, everyone's just, you know, they're, they're just all being horrible all the time. Mm -hmm. So this is, so that's the great fortune to be here. It's kind of like, we're here, you know, it's, here, it's a school. You know, it's like, you're going to take, like, you, if you want to get full grades, you want to find, like, the source of happiness is on the inside. And you're in forgiveness and in and letting go. It's not really, I don't see this as a holiday destination. So, um, so that makes you feel good, you see. You know, it's, it's not bad.